Hi guys, I'm back. I just had a cup of tea made for me and I thought it'd be better to sit down and chill out and share what I want to share with you, which is about deliverance. So I'm Mel, Sister Mel, Melinda, and I'm going to just discuss briefly about deliverance because I do believe that this is an area of our life that we're probably not aware of and that we need and that we need to be aware of. And I just want to ask you first, what does deliverance mean to you? A couple of seconds to have a think. Okay, so that's long enough. Uh, deliverance means to be set free from harm or danger. It means to be rescued, to be find an escape, to be set free, to uh, mm, to get help. Yeah. Also, the word salvation. Salvation means the same thing. To be set free to be rescued from captivity, from harm or danger. Also in the Hebrew, the word salvation comes from Yeshua. Oh, I, in my introduction video, I did say that I speak about Yeshua, Jesus, and his word and his name actually means to save, to be delivered, salvation, to be rescued. The Lord saves. It stems from Yeshua, Joshua, from the um, Old Testament. So that's just the, the definition of deliverance and what it actually means. So when we're looking at being set free from harm and danger, you have to think about your life. What do you need to be set free from? What harm or danger could you be going through? With the work that I've done with some people over the years, people need, be, need to be set free from harm and danger when it comes to their mental well-being, their emotional state, their physical state, spiritual state. So you need to be set free emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually sometimes. So those are the different areas that you need to be set free from that could be in harm or danger. Um, let's take a physical issue. So if you've had an injury or if you've got a chronic long term disease, your physical being may need to be rescued, may need to be set free, may need to be delivered. If you've got an emotional problem, like you may be sad, depressed, oppression, that's caused um, that sadness has happened for a long period of time, you may need to be set free from that oppressive state or the sadness that you're having or the anger that you may be carrying. When it comes to your cogn cognitive thinking and mindset, that may need to be set free from illogical thinking patterns, irrational thinking patterns, irrational thoughts, uh, tormenting thoughts. So those are the areas. And so we're looking at your mood, we're looking at your mental state, we're looking at your physical state. When it comes to your physical, it could be with your sight, your senses to touch, to feel, to smell, to taste, all of that could be affected as well. So I do believe that we go through these situations in our life and we do need to be delivered. We need saving and setting free from certain aspects, where we, whether it's mental, emotional, spiritual, physical. And I'm going to be exploring this further by really going into some teaching that has helped me because I've been set free from a lot of things. And I'm evidence of this. And also I've also seen it in other people's lives. But first of all, most is just getting to the point of understanding what deliverance is and how it affects a person and in which areas of your life may you need to be set free. So those are just some things for you to think about. I will do another video. I'm just going to gather my notes on that and then we'll go straight into it. So I'm going to try and do as much as I can today. So, yeah, stay with me and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye bye. You know. I, 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 I.